Hello and welcome to this O&DR module video about Jaguar XK8 expansion tanks and their differences. This is video 153 in our series of XK8 videos. In this video's video we're going to look at some differences we find between the XK8 uh, and the different model years and the XKR. Um, I've broken this video down, as per usual, into several sections. The first one is the unusual tank problem, which actually prompted this video. Uh, secondly is cars that use all the pipes, which will come clear shortly. Uh, third is what the workshop manuals say, and actually we'll go through the coolant diagram, and or the coolant system diagram. And section four then, uh, the XK8 and the XKR tanks in a bit more detail. If you're interested in this video, you're going to be interested in our channel, ONDR Modriol. Uh, please go and take a look. And uh, if you like this video, please, please press the thumbs up. It does make a real big difference. Okay, so first of all then, this unusual um, coolant uh, expansion tank problem. This actually came from uh, one of our subscribers, Roland E. Greb. And um, he was having some problems with his car. Um, and this um, this sort of starts this whole discussion about picking up second-hand Jaguar XK8s and people's previous maintenance, and uh, it'll, it'll you'll understand in a moment. So Roland did, uh, getting this low coolant message, and uh, he found in the end some unusual causes of the problem. It wasn't the sensor or the float, as you normally find is the main issue with these uh, expansion tanks. So. Roland purchased a new tank with the idea of actually it being the float. He'd actually took the tank uh, uh, and, uh, off and tested it as part of this. But the, the old tank that was actually fitted the car actually looked like a new tank. And it had new pipe clamps, so it looked like somebody had already messed about with it. Um, and when he looked at the, the pipes on the side of the expansion tank, something wasn't correct. It looked like there's a screw blocking one of the pipes. Um, when he actually removed it, he found somebody's mistake. He found the other pipe was actually completely blanked off as well. So basically, both sides uh, pipes of the <laughs> of this uh, expansion tank were blocked. So uh, Roland, when he fitted his new tank, he actually fitted it on um, the the holes onto the correct uh, open pipe. But he was still getting a low coolant message. So the tank isn't obviously the issue. The coolant sensor's new. The float's new. So we actually started looking at the connector. He actually um, linked it out with a bit of a metal wire. And it worked out. The coolant message went. So he looked at me in more detail. And the uh, the connector was all damaged. And actually it looks um, as if the wires had been pulled out of the back. So somebody had been messing with it when they'd uh, taken it off. So we actually pushed the wires back in as, as um, far as he could into the connector and then plugged it all back in. And lo and behold, it actually all worked. So the coolant message is gone. And what this um, actually does prompt, as I say, is if you're buying a Jaguar XK8 or a second-hand car, you don't really know what people have done and the standard of repairs that people have done. So is it a bodge or has it been done with OEM quality parts and to the correct procedures? So one thing you can say is that Roland's repair now is a quality repair and not the bodge that's previously. So quite an unusual uh, problem there with the coolant, low coolant message. So well, as part of the discussion together with Roland, I, as we're trying to fix this problem, um, I find out that my car actually uses all the pipes. Um, so when I when I took a look at my car as a comparison to the, his, obviously Roland's is an AJ34, mine's an AJ26. And when I asked when I took a look at my car, I noticed how I used both of those pipes on the side of the expansion tank on my early car. Um, the one pipe, the left hand side one, went to the top of the radiator. As you can see there. And the other pipe, as per all the other XK8s went to the top of the um, the thermostat tower. And obviously the one at the back, again, which everybody has, goes, as we know, to the degas tank that's hidden away that n nobody can see in the right-hand side uh, wheel arch. Mm. So there you go. It was really interesting that these early cars actually used more pipes 
than the later one. The, the radiator one seems to have been deleted from the XK8 and as it turns out the XKR. Um, so I took a look, tried to investigate and see what the workshop manual will say. As I say, we'd like to do things a quality way. We'd like to follow the OEM procedures. So I took a look at the, the uh, workshop manuals. Um, if you're not familiar, there are three workshop manuals for the whole range of models um, built from 1997 down to uh, up to 2006. And uh, there's one up to model year 1997, one up to model year 1999, and then from uh, to model year 2003. So I had a look at each one of those manuals to see what they said about cooling systems. And 1997 has like three pages of the engine, basically saying what the spec of the engine is, so practically zero. Model year 1999 doesn't say very much either. It's only when you get to model year 2003, it actually details the coolant, uh, the engine cooling system. So I took a look at that. If you look at page 719 out of 1920, it's got a nice picture of the cooling, engine cooling system on there. And if you take a look at that, it shows the expansion tank, item number eight, and it actually has four connections which is interesting because one goes to the degas bottle or the atmospheric tank in the right hand side inner wing. One goes to the top of the radiator. But interestingly, none of these cars have that connection, which it's a really old, this is a bit, I think it's a, a mistake by Jaguar that that actually is still in the diagram or well, they've just used an old diagram to be honest. One then goes to the thermostat housing and one to the water pump. So even in this um, diagram, in the um, model year 2003 workshop manual, it's out of date. It must be out of date. And all the instructions, if you go through, if you look at page 735, uh, it shows um, the actual blanked uh, pipe connector. So it, it, it obviously doesn't have the extra connector to go to the top of the radiator. So finally, let's have a look at the difference between the XK8 and the XKR tanks because they are different. They always have been. Um, the top of the XK8 tank looks like this. You're probably familiar with it. It's square. The part number is MJD 4400AB. Um, the uh, pipe connection to the right hand side, as you can see there, is the degas tank connection. At the top, the left hand side one is the thermostat housing on the um, on later cars, or it's the radiator on the early cars, and then the right hand side top is blocked normally now, or it's a thermostat housing on early cars. If you look at the bottom of the tank or underneath, you've got the water pump pipe connector and access to the coolant level sensor, albeit you can't really get at the float, which tends to be the main root cause of a lot of issues. Uh, the coolant level, level, level sensor is uh, part number LNA 5740AB. And there you go, another side view. You can see clearly the water pump connector at the bottom there. There are two what look like pipe connectors on the, on the side there, but they're actually push location pins, push fit location pins. The XKR tank, in comparison, is actually rectangular. Its part number is slightly different. It's MJD 4400. A, sorry, B, A, not A, B. And uh, there is no or never has been that additional uh, feed pipe to the top of the radiator. So it's never been present on the XKR. Obviously, the XKR came in in 1998. So at that point, they'd already <laughs> written it out. So it goes together with the idea that um, it was an AJ26 thing and after AJ26 the AJ27 and AJ34 engines didn't have this radiator connection. Uh, underneath then it has the, the same coolant sensor, the share, share the same coolant sensor. So there you go. The difference between the XK8 and the XKR is one is square, the other one's rectangular. The part numbers differ in other only that the A and the B are the other way around. I think the early cars, if you have an early car like me and I need to replace my expansion tank, I think I'll be end up drilling out the blanked pipe because I, I assume they only sell ones now with the blanked pipe 
albeit it's there so you can drill it out and re-establish the pipe. And I think looking at it, I, I was trying to find out what the reason why the tanks are a different shape. I'm sure it's purely just packaging or space within the engine bay. If anybody does know, I'd love to find out the actual details. But I, it looks fairly obviously it's packaging. You've got those big supercharger air, uh, air coolers or whatever in, on the side there that uh, need uh, a little bit more space. Okay there, so hopefully if, uh, you, you have given you a bit of an insight into uh, expansion tanks and an unusual problem that Roland had. I'd like to thank very much Roland uh, for sharing his problem. His unusual problem, really interesting. But again, it just goes to show, when you're buying your second-hand car or a second-hand XK, you can't be sure of the maintenance history. So do be careful and make sure you haven't got many bodges uh, from the previous owner. But Roland sorting his car out and making quality repairs. So good on you, Roland. Uh, finally, if you've got any brochures, I'd like to make a call out. If you've got brochures or any XK related documents uh, that you're happy to send photographs or scans to us, we'd really like to um, get our teeth into that and share it with all the other uh, subscribers. So we'd love to feature those in other videos. Please contact us and share that with us, either through the comments or through the email. Okay, thank you very much for watching. Um, hope you find that interesting, a bit obscure, but interesting. Uh, thanks, thanks very much for watching. Please like, comment, share and subscribe for more XK videos.